Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP programming. And our new topic is types of internal tables. In the previous videos, we covered what is internal table, how to declare an internal table. We covered the various internal table operations. Now we will cover what are the various types of internal tables? So we have three types of internal tables in SAP. The first internal table is standard. The second one is sorted internal table. And third one is hashed internal table. So we have three types of internal tables, standard, sorted and hashed. Now we will start with all these three types of internal tables one by one. And firstly, we will start with standard internal table. Now what is standard internal table? They are the default internal table. So what is the meaning of default? Default means if I will not specify that it is standard, sorted or hashed, system will always, always create which type of internal table. System will always, always create a standard internal table. Suppose in the previous videos, we declared the internal table. We performed so many operations on the internal table. See, we declared the internal table, LT data type table of LTY underscore data. We have not specified it is standard internal table, sorted internal table or hashed internal table. It means this internal table is by default, which type of internal table? This is your standard internal table standard. So what I will do, I will not touch this existing program. I will create a new program. And in that program, we will understand the concept of all three types of internal table. And whenever code is required, I will simply copy paste from this particular program. So I will create a program through SC38 transaction code. I will give some title to the program. We all know first letter is always Z or Y. Suppose I will give ZPRG underscore demo on types of internal table. Okay. I will go for create. I will give that title. Demo on types of internal table. Now I will choose the type as executable program and I will save it as a local object. I will activate the program. Now, now what I will do, we all know how you can go for declaration of an internal table. Firstly, you need to create a structure type. So I will simply, simply copy this structure type. It is a structure type of two columns. So how you are declaring a internal table. So I will use the keyword data. Now I will give the name of the internal table. Suppose I'm saying LT underscore data type table of. What is the name of structure type LTY underscore data? We all know whenever we are using structure type, we have to use the word table of. See, we have not specified standard, sorted, hashed. 
so it is by default lt underscore data is a standard internal table and you see so many places people will use the word standard also if you are seeing the word standard so anyways it is a standard internal table if we are not using the word standard it means it is a standard internal table by default so these two sentences have the same to same meaning there is no difference at all because if you are specifying the keyword standard yes anyway system will create a standard internal table if we are not specifying anything system will by default create a standard internal table if i will go for the first point they are the default internal table if you are writing type table of or if you are writing type standard table of no difference at all yes because if we are not specifying system is creating the by default standard internal table now i will come on to the next important point they are the index based internal table index means what it means whatever the records are in the internal table suppose i have 100 records in the standard internal table so every record has a index from 1 to 100 if i have 10 records in the internal table so each and every record has a index and you already saw this thing in the previous videos also because i explained maximum things in the debugging mode suppose simple if i will simply now use the word standard so that you can understand that fully we have a standard internal table i will declare the work area i will declare the work area lwa underscore data type structure suppose from the previous program i will copy this how we inserted the records to internal table using append statement suppose i will copy these five records we inserted five records to the internal table using append statement append internal table operation already covered now we are displaying using loop statement i'll check the syntax and activate now i will show you why why we are saying it is a index based internal table suppose i'm putting a break point here i'm running i will go to desktop 3 most preferable desktop now just see lt underscore data internal table it has zero records as of now and how many column two column have you seen by default one column is coming that is called as a row column i will say it is just like a index it is just like a index suppose as of now internal table has zero records now we are inserting first record to the internal table so have you seen internal table has one record and what is the index what is the index one if i will go for second record now you can see what is the index index is two if i will go to third record you can see third record index is three now if i will go to fourth record you can see index is four now we have index is five index is five we have not given any index at all sap has a automatically column row row 
which is taking the index of each and every record. So if I have 100 records, this row value will be automatically 1 to 100. If I have 500 records, this row value will be automatically 1 to 500. That's why we are always, always saying it is a index based internal table because each and every record has a index in the internal table. So what is the summary of the video up to this particular level? So we have three types of internal table standard sorted hashed and we are we started with standard internal table standard internal table is the default internal table default internal table means if you are not specifying anything system will always always create a standard internal table so it is totally your wish you want to use the standard keyword or if you are not using any the system will create a standard internal table then we cover the second important point why why we are saying it is an index based internal table because each and every row has a index generally in the interview when we ask people is it an index based internal table so this is the explanation because in the debugging we can check each and every record has a index now in the next video we will cover further important points of the standard internal table one by one so that's it in this video thank you